Hi, I'm Madeline Stranimo and I am a professional track and field athlete for Wazell. My focus is on the 3000 meter steeplechase event and I've been running track and field since I was in 6th grade. I'm going to share with you my training and competition secrets as I prepare for the 2020 Olympic trials. Hi, it's Madeline Stranimo here talking to you about drills and strides. Drills and strides are a regular part of my training. I do them before every workout, every race, and usually the day before workouts too, totaling about three to four times per week. Drills and strides prime my running form to run fast. They've really helped my form and efficiency, and in just a few short months, you can see some major improvements. In each drill, it's really important to think about having a strong core, landing on your midfoot, and using your glutes to propel you forward. When you're just starting out, try doing 10 meters of each drill and building your way up to 30 to 40 meters. This drill is A-March. Notice my dorsiflex foot in the right angle between my quad and calf. A-Skip is a sped up version of A-March and uses the same form but forces you to respond to the ground faster. It's important to think about your feet landing beneath your hips and not reaching in front of you. The most important thing about B March is focusing on using your glute and hamstring to bring your foot back underneath you. This is a sped up version of B March and also forces you to respond to the ground quicker. This one is tough to master, so I recommend getting the B March down before speeding this one up. I do heel squeezes instead of butt kicks because butt kicks almost always result in arching your back which means your core is not engaged properly. This helps you practice good heel recovery. High knees is all about quick feet, springing off the ground to bring your knees up. This is also a core exercise. Your core should be burning at the end of doing these. The next three drills are a little bit more advanced. Try mastering the basics before you go for these ones. This combination drill alternates between tinkerbells, heel squeezes, tinkerbells, and high knees. Try doing two reps on each leg. For this one, it's important to try to maintain the same rhythm when switching between drills. This combination alternates between one leg doing tinkerbells and one leg doing B-skip reps. Then you can switch sides. This one will take some time to master. After I do all my drills and my running form is primed, I do four to eight hundred meter strides. I try to build up to speed by the middle of the stride. I periodically video record my strides in slow motion to track form changes and progress. Thanks for checking out my video. If you want to see more, check out my profile on the Athletes Village.